Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to recognize and honor Emily Gordon and Dylan Burke, young advocates in the fight to cure type 1 diabetes. Emily and Dylan are making a significant impact on the research for diabetes, and their work will benefit future generations. That's because they are both delegates representing Rhode Island and the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation's Children's Congress gathered here in Washington this week, and they're with us on the floor today. Emily of Lincoln, Rhode Island, and Dylan of Newport, Rhode Island, are working to raise public awareness of the critical need for diabetes research to eliminate this disease. Diagnosed at 17 months old, Emily has known diabetes for most of her life and doesn't view herself as different from other children. And Dylan has seen firsthand some of the complications of type 1 diabetes since his father also has the disease. The work that Emily and Dylan are performing during the Children's Congress is critical to the nearly 26 million Americans who have diabetes. I commend and congratulate them for overcoming great obstacles to work towards a cure that will improve and save lives and generations to come. Welcome, and I yield back the balance of my time.